Hi guys, welcome to the vlog and today's video is going to be about, well, I wanted to do it for a while, it's uh, tire shine guys and I have, uh, I think I have four or five actual products that I, uh, I want to go over with you guys, what products I think uh, are the best and what products uh, I'm going to be talking about are two in particular. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, pull out my car and uh, show you guys. Uh, the product that I used last time on my car for tire shine. Uh, I haven't washed my car in, uh, I'd say, well, since the last video. I think that's been about a little over a week now. And I'm going to pull out the car and show you guys what the tire shine still looks like on the car. I have about mm, 50 kilometers, I think, on the car uh, since I've washed it. So really not that much, just uh, some small driving here and there. I've worked a lot this last week, <laughs> so I really haven't been able to drive my car a whole lot. But uh, 50 kilometers is, isn't isn't a whole lot, and it isn't uh, isn't too little, I guess, if uh, if you expect how long your tire shine will last for. So you'll have an idea. But since I can't really demonstrate uh, the tire shine on these wheels themselves, I'm gonna go ahead and do it on my wife's car because they've never, ever. I've had tire shine uh, on that car before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do uh, two products, sort of like a head-to-head -head in a way. Uh, one product on the right side and then one product on the other side. And then I will do a follow-up video because I am wanna I want to see what it's gonna look like in like three or four days. Uh, I only work two days this week, which is great. So I'll do another video uh, uh, after those two days. And we use, she drives her car all the time so we'll be able to see what tire shine outperforms you know in everyday use or even just you know whatever just sitting there or if it rains because i haven't really looked at the weather yet so guys uh i hope you guys stick around it's uh gonna be a learning experience for me guys let's go ahead and pull up my car <laughs> So I have all my products in the trunk and I'm gonna show you guys what products I've used in the past. I mean, I have a pretty good idea what products are gonna be better than others, but uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, the products I've used anyways. So here we go. So, I mean, I have all this stuff in here. Like I said, I got a lot of... <laughs> so, hmm. right there. Not a tire app, okay. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. So we'll just go ahead and set them down. Set them down. We're gonna talk about them in a second. Yeah, so there's four right there. Uh, these are the four that I have been using for a long time. Now this one, actually, uh, this is the product I've been using. I haven't used it on this car in particular, my Camaro, but that is the product uh, I was using on my charger. And the reason why, and that's armor all right there, guys, the reason why I stopped using this is because when you put it on your tire, okay, or put it on the back tire, you can put it on and sometimes it gets in the grooves here. And if you do not clean that, or if you miss that, the first time you go down the road, okay, not on the back, actually a little bit on the back. So the first time you go down on the road and you've applied it to your tire, you're gonna get that tire shine dressing all down the side of your car. And what it looks like, it looks like this in a way. I touched this car, do you see that? See those marks right there? It'll look like that, but in little water marks, like, like, like sort of like that, those fingerprints. I don't know if you can see in there, but that's what it's gonna look like. All down the side of your car, and that's from this gel crap right here. So, maybe am I applying too much? Yeah, but even if I apply a little bit, if it throws it down the side of your car, you just spent like three hours washing your car, and it looks like crap. Most of the time I would have to 
drive, you know, maybe a couple kilometers, get out of my car and re-detail the side of it because you would get that effect every single time. Every single time you're driving down the road. And I guarantee it, anybody that is a, a car freak or anybody that is, you know, loves to keep their car clean knows exactly what I'm talking about and you've seen it. I know you have. But that's why I stopped using this one and that's why I haven't used it on this one yet. So, I have been using all summer this product right here. If you've seen the rest of my videos or have followed me on Instagram, pretty much every single time I have uh, taken a picture of my car, it's been with this product here on the tires. Now that isn't what is on there now. What's on there right now is this stuff right here. This stuff is on it right now and this is McGuire's Hot Shine. I had my thumb over it, sorry about that. So this is a, uh, I got some dust on the rims, don't worry about that. That's, you know, some crap. But this is after 50 kilometers. The tires look, uh, well the sidewall looks really good. Obviously you're not gonna get around there back of it that's gonna go awfully quick but the, the sidewall looks great it still has the shine to it and it's what I'm looking for really do I think uh, this stuff is better than the Brio's garage uh, I don't know but that's not it's such a close head-to-head -head. so what I want to do and this is this is why this has some pretty high reviews. We're gonna get back to that little duel in a second. So this has some pretty high reviews right here. This is what I wanted to test out. Okay, this stuff right here. I bought this for my dad for Father's Day because he has a big truck and he likes his tire shine and I wanted something, you know, that was gonna be a good product. I like Chemical Guy stuff and uh, I wanted to give that a shot. But. Uh, the last video I used this tire shine I like the results on that as well so what I wanted to do is I wanted to put this this Meguiar's up against the chemical guys uh, I understand this is a good product but for some reason on Amazon and on other websites this has a higher review and this has more reviews than the Griot's garage so this is actually is for plastic rubber and uh, vinyl so this is more of like uh, a three-in-one, four-in-one. It's 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 a good product. I'd give that a thumbs up. I'd give that an approval. But this is more for tire, and this is more for tire. So that's what we're going to be using are those two products today. I just wanted to skim over these two products. This product I do like, but you got to be very careful with that with the side <laughs> with the, with collateral damage. And this one uh, doesn't have collateral damage. That's what I'm going to call it. <laughs> but this one is a good product, guys. I do like this. Uh, I will do a video on this stuff later on. Uh, I do like it. I will give it a shot, guys. So if you are on the fence about buying it, go ahead and buy it. And if you have it, tell me what you guys think in the comments below because it is a good product. I'm not bashing in any way. But today's video is on the Hot Shine Meguiar's and the Chemical Guys VRP stuff. But what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm going to apply it. I'm gonna apply the VRP on my wife's SUV. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the VRP on the passenger side and the hot shine on the driver side guys. And then in about three, four days, because this vehicle gets driven a lot, we're going to term or determine, sorry, who is the winner of the two. Easy enough, right? So you can already see this is, a, this is a week old already on there. So that VRP stuff on the chemical guys has a battle at hand boys. So let's uh, let's get it going and uh, see what it's like. Oh yeah, fair warning. This is a gel. This is a gel, so we may have collateral damage. I am going to put it on the best I can without uh, collateral damage, <laughs> without doing this on the side of your car. Let's try it. Well, there's two applicators. I have one right here and I have one right here. This is a Chemical Guys applicator. It is dirty. I use this one only to put on tire shine right here, guys. This one I use to put on gel. So you see it's it's uh, two different styles, guys. Uh, this one has a groove for the gel, and this one I use for the spray. Uh, 
I just don't spray my tires like this because then you're gonna get that spray all over your uh, your fender there. So what I do is I spray it on this, then apply it, guys. And I will do this hot shine on driver's side right now. Okay guys, both products are applied and we're gonna take a quick look at them and we're gonna see if uh, you guys can see, well, I'm gonna see right now if there's a difference between them. the uh, right off the bat this stuff has a better better shine doesn't mean it's better and uh, it just means that right off the bat it uh, it's 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 it looks better in my opinion but is it gonna last as long is what I mean guys so one point for the chemical guys but hmm, I don't, I don't even own this product guys I bought this for my dad I took this from my dad's house so uh, we're gonna find out if I'm gonna be buying it myself. Because uh, for products, if a product's not good, I don't buy it again. So if, if I don't like it, I'm looking at my car now. If I don't like it, I won't buy it again. I mean, easy as that, right? That, that is a nice shine though. That does stick out a lot better. Hmm. Well guys, we're gonna we're gonna do a follow-up video in a couple days on well see who's the winner all I can tell you guys from what I see right now is the quality of the shine I can't really tell you if it's gonna last longer because if the hot hot shine is gonna last longer I'll continue using it if that if that shines gonna fade really quickly there, there's no point right if it's just gonna shine for a little bit and then fade faster than the other stuff then what's the difference but anyways Kind of impressed with it. I like it. I like the smell of it too. I'm 519 Streets. If you guys haven't followed any of my social media, the links will be down below, guys. And anything I use in these videos, the links will be down below, guys, to these products, to the applicators that I used. Anything. And if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, subscribe. Try to help my channel grow, guys. If you are, this is if this is the first video you've ever seen, I got lots of other videos. Uh, my channel is only a couple months old. As you can see, this is a 2014 ZL1. Uh, this car is it is mine for now. That car right there, this car I do not own. I have traded it in for a 2018 Z06. Uh, it's not being built because the factory is shut down, but you can go ahead and watch my other uh, videos and it'll tell you what's going on. But yeah, no, I love the looks of these. This year was great. I loved my car, but I haven't really owned it that long. But time to move on to bigger and faster and sexier things. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. 519 Streets. Peace.